Bullying has really hit the headlines this week, hasn't it? We've all been talking about that video that was shared tens of thousands of times on social media. Uh, and it seemed to show a teenage boy being dragged to the ground during a horrible bullying incident, apparently, in Huddersfield. Well, it's highlighted the role of technology on school grounds and it sparked the discussion on whether bullies should be shamed on social media or if it causes more harm for all those involved. Let's talk about this then, shall we? To discuss this, we've got radio host Jamie East with us, who says bullies actually need compassion and education. And also journalist Larry Turner, who says sharing clips of bullying on social media can help everyone deal with the issue more. So, I mean, the thing that I think we all thought, and it's taken a while, hasn't it, for this to, to, to gather steam. Yeah. It was originally shared, you know, back a couple of months ago, and then MPs have got involved and shared it again is that when you see the horror of bullying in that way, um, it definitely focuses attention for everybody on it. Yeah, it does. And I'm just not sure to what benefit. I'm not sure what the what the what we're hoping to to gain as a result of it being shown. I mean, in its in its in all its gory details, I think it it does more harm than good. Well, I think the argument from 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 the outside would be the benefit is to the person being bullied because mm. suddenly there is stark evidence that this was going on. Sometimes it can be very tricky to turn, sit down with somebody and say, I'm being bullied, and they'll say, well, we need to investigate the story. There is the proof right there. Sure, yeah, but I don't think we need a mob crowd to to, to kind of justify that. That can, well, can go to anybody. he might say you do, because he was experiencing it, and it hadn't stopped, and now it has. I, I just, I think it plays into the bullies' hands a bit. I don't, th I don't think the bullies will look at that clip being kind of socialised and think that, I, I think they will, they will see the glamour in that rather than the problem. That, it's an interesting point, though, isn't it, Larry, that undoubtedly, as soon as these things are shared on social media, everybody comes judge and jury very viciously uh, without really understanding the background, the whole situation, the whole story mm. as well. And that's a dangerous precedent, isn't it? It is. One has to say who's sharing. So, in some cases, you've got the bullies themselves who are sharing, mm. in which case they think they're going, to be look, they're going to look great for their friends. And in that case, I think that bully deserves everything they get on social media because they've the one who's posted it. If, for example, you are a parent of a child who's being bullied and it came into your possession, a piece of film, and you'd been to the school, for example, and asked for help and the school didn't help, I think mm -hmm. absolutely you, you um, uh, post it. I had a situation with one of my children who got um, spat on by a boy at secondary school and he hit him and then my son was excluded. And when we were called up to the school, Meanwhile, I'd asked other parents and there was this vortex of misery around this particular child. He was doing all kinds of all different kids. And when I said to the, the school, well, presumably, considering what's going on, he'll be um, going very soon. And they said, no, nope, we can't exclude him because he'd come from another school where he'd been in trouble and they were there to try and keep him in the schools. But meanwhile, all the other real victims round and about were continuing to suffer. And it was only when he actually attacked a teacher that the school was able to act. But, but so, so that is, though, the challenge of dealing with a bully, isn't it? It doesn't necessarily mean it's a good argument for posting the behaviour I th online. I think quite a lot of times schools don't act quickly enough. They talk about the victim being a bully, mm. we have to understand his or her behaviour, without actually protecting the other mm. children around. When I send my child to school, I want them to be safe. If I find out that they're being bullied and the school's not doing anything and I have that piece of film, then I absolutely post it. Jamie, you're a father, you've got four kids, haven't yes. you? And I think you've got some experience, or one of your children's had some experience of, of, of bullying. So yeah, you've well, been think... in a situation... That... Well, I have as well. You know, when I was at school, and I think all kid, most kids experience bullying at some point. Now, you know, I can appreciate what Larry's saying, but I don't see what posting it on Facebook is going to solve. It doesn't solve any problems. And I think quite often the problem with bullies is the fact that there, there are deeper, see, deeper rooted issues there and occasionally compassion and education is needed rather than trying to publicly shame. I suppose there's two, isn't it? Compassion and education, two points. Compassion is needed to tackle the, the bullies' troubles. Yeah. But in the meantime, other kids are suffering. They are, but, but again, posting on social media doesn't solve that problem. It it's... might shame the school into mm. acting, I think. Some parents feel desperate. I don't... Well, it, no, it won't, because the schools, schools can't act because of, because of the law and because of, the, because of exclusion laws within the schools. Just because it's on Snapchat or Facebook isn't going to make a headmaster change But mind. I do think there can be a culture in the school which actually mm. decides to brush it under the carpet because it's, it's bad PR for the school and other schools who deal with it really well. And that depends on the, the, the management in the school. Some schools are not very well managed. Larry, do you I... think if you'd had... Uh 
video evidence of what happened to your child and when that happened, that it would have been a different situation, different story? I think it would have given me leverage. There was another case with my other son when he was at primary school and he was being hit by another boy. And when I went in to talk to the teacher, she said, oh, we're, we're aware of the problem. That was the answer. We're, well, that, that doesn't help, mm. you know, what, mm. if, should my son hit him? He was only like eight or nine, should he hit him back? I just think that, OK, it may not happen on school grounds and it's not an ideal situation, but it does at least give you proof to go to the other people's parents and say, this is what your child is doing. It's horrific, though, uh, Jamie, as a parent, if you think something like this is happening to your child, your first instinct is to protect them, to do whatever you possibly can, and yeah. also to make sure the person, the perpetrator, whoever they might be, pays for what mm. they've done. Yeah, I mean, as a parent, you just want to lash out and you want kind of... Uh, ramifications you and you want some resolution immediately but it's you you have to take a breath and you have to take a step back going steaming into the school and demanding x y and z happens to this pupil when quite often the, the problems will be starting at home anyway do you think that possibly one bit of advice is to take any footage and go and show it to the perpetrator's parents first? well yeah perpetrator's parents or the authorities mm. if the school aren't going to act then go to go to the education authority or go to the police you know I, the, 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 the the child who was, who was walloping my son i i met the mother I wouldn't have shown her a piece of video because you're absolutely right. As soon as you met the mother, I thought, well, now I can understand why the so kid that's is the, the way he is. So publicly so that's, shaming yeah. is Did just going to glorify you more it to them. For the situation, though, Larry. Um, it made me realise it was more difficult because clearly this wasn't mm. isolated about, with him. Mm. But it also made me think, well, yeah, but this. Hang on a second. There's lots of understanding. That's lovely. But what happens about the the other children who are the victims? It's like children who are disruptive in class. Everybody talks about you need to understand that behaviour. Meanwhile, the whole class is affected is, by is that. It's affected their learning. Yeah, it's a complex one. Really interesting to talk to Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks very much indeed.